Hello and welcome to Schiller Watch. I'm your host, the ultimate MCU man, and I'm here to talk to you guys about the reason why I haven't been doing my Avengers reviews all that often and what I'm going to start doing. I gladly take the L on this one. This one's on me. But as we transition from that, I'm going to review Avengers issues 28 through uh, 30. Starting with issue 28, where we find the Heralds of Galactus are hanging outside Ravenstar Prison and another planet has been star-branded. Then we transition to Captain America fighting Thor, only for Captain America, with Captain America's only hope is to lift up Mjolnir and smack the shit out of Broodthor. Uh, it's actually a really interesting scene. I, I think it's really cool. Uh, for that, then we transition again over to Ghost Rider and, and Silver Surfer fighting, and we see the coolest image of Ghost Rider riding the Silver Surfer's board. The rest of the Avengers are actually surprised. Black Widow and Blade are actually surprised. And then after that, we, we kind of take a little bit aside to see what Iron Man's doing in, you know, 10,000 BC as he meets a Avengers 10,000 BC. Uh, call me crazy, I'm just never interested into those characters. That's just the way I feel. As the issue winds down, we find the War Widow finally appears as that was what Black Widow was wearing. And as we get to issue 29, the War Widow is kicking ass and taking names. Right now, she's protecting her, her what's left of her team being Blade. And she's killing these, uh, not necessarily killing, but she's fucking these dudes up. Left and right. Only for the Silver Surfer to intervene and the two get into a heated battle that even includes Blade wearing boy thing, stabbing Silver Surfer and actually hurting him. This is new as the Avengers are actually fighting the Heralds of Galactus in a really cool scene. Thor is smacking asteroids like from, from Terax away. He's swatting them. Only for the actual star brand to emerge and for Gladiator to go to it as he reads the dying star brand her sentence not the dying star brand but we all find out that it's a pregnant woman and then the last issue of star brand reborn in this arc we start the issue off with black panther captain marvel and captain america talking about what just happened like a sit rep like a debriefing and we see that the star brand kind of handed gladiator his ass which if you know your Marvel Comics, that is not an easy feat. Especially when Thor got involved and started chomping at him at the bit. The Heralds of Galactus are all equally attacking her and the Avengers. It's it's right now it's a it's a, it's a free for all. The Avengers, Gladiator, and the Heralds of Galactus are trying to get to this this most powerful creature. Captain America just beelines it for the for the woman and helps her give birth to this child. Uh and then we get a little bit of a of a backstory for her. She she was this you know 20 something year old woman that was pretty much an immigrant in space, which is kind of weird to say. But her she she's birthing the baby and what happens is is that Captain America in the smoldering cosmic fire just says it's a girl he he the avengers helped a woman give birth to a to a space god okay if that doesn't want make you want to pick up this issue i don't know what will even the heralds of galactus all stopped by and they were like hey we're going to give the baby a gift it's like we're all giving the baby a gift uh and they they all choose their own little gift that they're gonna give the baby but the mother died and the avengers don't really know what to do, but they do have the most powerful entity in their home right now, and they don't know what to do if she cries, which is just a cute thing to to talk about. I highly have to recommend the Star Brand Reborn saga. This was such a fun ride. It was crazy. There was a bunch of twists and turns. I cannot wait for you guys to read more Avengers. Jason Aaron just knocks it out of the park with this one. Thank you so much for being patient with me. This is a very short review. Uh, again, I'm very sorry about why it takes me so long to do these things. 
And I do appreciate your patience and your time. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope you guys have a good day.